Does the tension between political parties seem abnormally high? A recent Bowling Green State University poll supports that feeling. In fact, a BGSU professor says the results show we are, quote, not in a good place. 13 Action News reporter Claire Mitchell has the details new at 6. We are in the home stretch until Election Day. Dr. Robert Alexander, a BGSU professor of political science, says the U.S. continues to ride a wave of voter turnout. Since the mid-2000s, we've seen a spike in voter turnout. I would like to think that uh, that is due in part to a lot of people being very excited about politics. But Dr. Alexander says he believes frustration is the catalyst. I think people turn out to the polls when they get frustrated about the world around them. And so uh, we've seen near record voter turnout in presidential elections and midterm elections. What sticks out to you about this race? Uh, we just did a public opinion poll, Bowling Green State University public opinion poll. In the September poll, we asked a number of questions how the political parties see one another. And it's really grim. Uh, it is, it, we're not in a good place in three quarters of those surveyed think that things are only going to get worse in the United States. When we ask partisans what they think about the other side, quote unquote, uh, they see each other as intolerant. In Bowling Green, a Harris Walls sign spray painted over with words like Trump, expletives and swastikas. The property owners didn't want to be on camera, but tell me this isn't the first issue they've had with their signs and they feel like they live in a bubble around their neighbors because of their political views. It's not unheard of, unfortunately. According to the U.S. National Archives and Records Administration, Ohio voted Republican in the last two presidential elections. Just up the road, an altered upside down Harris Walls sign with the words nation in distress, root cause, written over top. I spoke to one of the owners of the sign. He didn't want to be on camera, but tells me he placed the spray painted sign there to encourage people to be weary about the government and the state of the nation. In historical context, we've had elections like this before where it's been closely contested. If I were diagnosing the United States right now, we're not in a good place because many people, regardless of the outcome, will not be ready to move on to the next election. Reporting in Bowling Green, I'm Claire Mitchell, 13 Action News.